Today's episode is going to be called The Good Old Days. Right? That's what we decided. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, you know how everybody always says the good old days? And it just yeah. led me into thinking or asking myself, what are the good old days? You know, old timers always say the good old days or or they say things like that's that's not how we used to do it or you know. Yeah. So it got me stirred up. It got me in a conversation with Andrew talking about the good old days, about what are the good old days and can can uh are the good old days is it even a thing or the days of the past are they really any better than nowadays <laughs> what do you think uh, oh I think I don't know I mean sometimes yeah I mean... Is this mine? Yeah, it's not mine. You didn't drink it, is it? No. My kids might have. Elliot might have. She's just drinks people's waters. Mm. Um, yeah, I think it depends, I mean, on the person, I guess, but... I mean, there's a lot of... Uh, when, yeah, when you think about <clears throat> growing up when you're younger... It's always like you always think of, I mean, I, I usually always think of the good stuff, you know, whatever was fun. What are the good old awesome. days to you? Um, like, I guess like just being younger, like probably middle school, high school day times when just out riding bikes. <clears throat> Running around the neighborhood, you know, hanging out, playing, yeah. playing ball. Yeah, that's, that's one thing for us, our childhood, the good old days, <laughs> yeah, was riding bikes in the neighborhood and playing basketball and football in the neighborhood all day, never being in the house, didn't really even know what the house looked like most of the time. You know, mm -hmm. that is what I think of the good old days. Yeah. And now, now, I think nowadays, um, we're so worried about where our kids are all the time. Like now, Andrew is at the age of where I think where my good days, the good old days were where I was riding bikes all over the neighborhood, but I was with, you know, you guys, all my brothers. Yeah. So it wasn't as risky. Andrew doesn't have any brothers, so. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, you just don't see that anymore. Yeah. Um, because there are a lot more going on. You can, we could talk about all the child trafficking and that kind of stuff, but... That's not good for the good old days. But, yeah, like that movie that just came out. The, uh, what is it called? The, um, uh, Sound of Freedom. Sound of Freedom. Have you seen it yet? No. I haven't, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it yet. I want, I want to see it, but I just... Yeah. I don't really want to go to the movies. And of course. I mean, money. that could have been going on back then. We just didn't know about it. Yeah, I mean, it was. But I guess not I'm pretty knowing sure about it, it was. the good old days. But I think it's more prevalent yeah, now. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it sounds like it. Um, I hadn't seen the movie. Yeah, I'll see it. <clears throat> but yeah, that, that's what, for me, yeah, that's like late 80s, early 90s, that period. Um, yeah, early 90s, good old days. You know, wrestling for me and cross country. Yeah. You know, those were the good days. Yeah, cross country. But then after high school, that's when it just got... Yeah. 
bad for me, so. Well, but, you just get more, uh, I mean, you, then you have to be responsible. <laughs> well, I just got more stupid. Oh, okay. What I did. Yeah. Until I fi figured, finally figured it out, but, um. No, well, we, when we were a little, when we were young, too, we'd go out, we'd do a lot of vacations or a lot of trips, like, with the, with the cousins, like, uh. Yeah. Know, Uncle Johnny's family. Oh, well, yeah, I remember Uncle one Mickey's trip. Family. With Grandpa and, and well, Uncle going Mickey and everybody's at Swanee yeah. River. Oh, yeah, that was an awesome trip right there. That was Which I can that. barely remember, but yeah. I just remember everybody sleeping in the car because we didn't, we got there I, late. I don't remember that part. I, I just remember we got there late. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good trip. But I remember that I remember one. I mean, lot. you know, I probably remember all of them. Or most of them, but that was that was a good times, for sure. Hiking and, uh, in the it, mountains, yeah. Mary and Jimmy, and um, well, it seemed less busy. Cause I was just talking to Heather, or actually the kids, earlier this week about because we're like right, they're doing cross country, you know. Andrew's doing that too, but it's like. To get the time to run in, it's like you're rushing to do it. Like yeah. back then, it's like we had all the time in the world to do it, but I don't know what is different. But I guess for me back then, I didn't work, so I had tons of time. You know, maybe that's the difference. Is maybe maybe mom and daddy were rushing around, and but we drove too. That's another thing. Kids don't drive early. These these, these yeah, they don't drive as early. Yeah, so some of the there's a push. For kids not to drive around. Yeah. It's just like, reason. I don't know. and uh, But even even that, though, it's like, I don't know what it is. It's, even on the weekends, I feel like I don't have the, the freedom that everybody had back then. Like, everybody, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe I'm just remembering the highlights and it was like that, but it just seems more busy. Yeah, I know what you mean. It almost seems like these phones and devices would give you more yeah. access to do more and more freedom, actually, but it is almost like it's the opposite. Yeah, I think it I is. know that these phones, people being on the phones are so distractive that it takes time away from the good old days. Time away from, yeah. Oh yeah. What they could be make they could be making memories instead of looking at other people's memories. Yeah. You know. I passed the um, at the college, uh, was bus stops. There's like four or five people sitting out there, and every one of them was just looking at the phones like, oh, yeah. like this. Instead of talking to each other, they were all in their own little world, but they're all sitting together, but all just totally separate yeah. mentally. Yeah. That I keep seeing that. I mean, yeah, which I would I've probably been, be doing the same thing. I've been, I've been um, guilty of that. Yeah. But I've made it a point recently to um, not do that or try not to do that. And I've made it a point recently to talk to more people that I usually wouldn't talk to. Or try and talk to more people because a lot of people don't want to be talked to. Because I've noticed that when I try and go and talk to somebody, they almost uh, look at me like, "What are you doing?" It's like they're using their phone as a yeah get away from me. Yeah, yeah, that's what. Yep, yeah, that's what I was gonna get at too. Yeah, it's it, it they, they do because I do it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so I know it. I know people are doing that, and that's not really good, especially for like a Christian. Yeah, because you know, you, yeah, you got your phone. You can you got You're your Bible app your on purpose. your phone. You can use that to help yeah. you spread the gospel. Yeah, well, I mean, that's one good thing. I mean, you could say, back in the good old days, back then they you had to. You carry your Bible around. Yeah, you have to go to the library and look up what we you can look up in five minutes on your phone. So I mean, this 
that wouldn't be the good old days in that aspect. So I guess it just depends on whatever I'm talking about. But they do exist. I mean, like you know, good old days back. We were we were in the days of Michael Jordan. You know, all his yeah. bronze championships. That was awesome. Yeah, and now the basketball NBA. You can't even watch it on TV. No, no or yeah, the, it's no. I not can't free TV. Yeah, not free. And uh, then yeah, and Charlotte Hornets started back then. That was exciting. Yeah. It was just, that was we would just sit on the floor and watch the Charlotte oh, Hornets. Yes, yeah. the good times. <laughs> Muggsy Bogues. I mean, there's stuff like that now. I guess, I don't know if it's just for your youth, what you remember, but it just seemed um, it wasn't so political. That, I mean, I don't remember. It being, and I don't think it I was. Mean, well, there was, there was. I mean, I, when I think about it, I remember our dad and his brothers and grandpa sitting around talking about politics. I remember that a little bit, but then mostly they're yeah. looking at maps. Yeah. Uh, oh. Where to go next? What what hike to do next? And things like yeah. that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. No, I mean the basketball wasn't. Oh, political. the basketball you know wasn't political. Is, you know, they have all the. Oh stuff yeah. In the back of the jerseys and. But I mean, you know, it's all. Everything changes, but yeah. So yeah, yeah. I mean, it's certain things. Yeah, there's the good old days for sure for me. Yeah, so if you turn that around and say these. Our kids, when they're our ages, um, say, what are we? We're in our thirties, right? <laughs> no, when they're our ages, like in forties, are they gonna say, "Man, those were the good old days," you know? And yeah. then get in their flying car and yeah. Now I was thinking about that, like mom and daddy, when they say "good old days," do they think? Like, when we say good old days, we're thinking our, that time, well, they were there with us, but when they think good old days, are they thinking about when they were back in the 60s, or, yeah, 50s and 60s, or whatever. <laughs> or, yeah, you know, yeah. was that then, or it was the good old days to them now, those same days that were Their us. good old days to them was, you know... They could probably. I, I tried to get him to come in here and talk about this, but he he said that he would have. He wasn't. Who, feeling, Daddy? Yeah, he's. Oh, yeah. I fact, can't remember what excuse he made. It was a good one. <laughs> yeah. Um. No, like good old days to them. I can imagine. I don't want to speak for him, but I will. It had you to know, be back they, in the 60s. Yeah, the 60s like, was his good old days. I went to recycle with him today to get those bite parts. And he went with me and um, I put on, I listened to Pandora on, on my radio. Yeah. You know, that music app. So I put the Pandora um, 60s rock on. Mm-hmm. And he was jamming away, like, 60s music, oh, really? you know, like, uh, yeah. 60s, like, I don't know, the monkeys, the Beatles. Yeah. So, um. That's another thing, yeah, the music. Really the music back. was different. I don't know why the music changes with different errors. But. I wonder if somebody that grew up in the Great Depression would say, man, those were good old days. <laughs> well, yeah, that's a that's good question. Grandpa. Yeah, I don't think so, but I mean, I wouldn't think so, but maybe so. I don't know. It's almost like whatever era that you were at that age, that was the good old days. Well, I would think Daddy would say it's great, you know, back then, didn't have to wear a seatbelt, uh, you didn't have to worry about. Locking doors all the time, and that, that's another thing. Yeah, that's that gets on my nerves. <laughs> Every time you get out of the car, the the car is locked. I hate that. And then you go out to the car to get something that's locked, and I never had the keys. So I have to go in there, and get the key from Heather. It's 
That's that annoys me. Yeah. <laughs> thieves. If it wasn't for thieves, I love things would be a lot easier. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, so I guess it's I don't know. Yeah. Perception or I guess. I mean, there were thieves back then. Yeah, like you go to biblical times. They're good old days. But nobody locked your doors much because it was harder. You had to kick it, stick the key in there, and untwist it. You, just, you know, now it's just you get buttons on your key fob or whatever. Or you don't even have to do that. You just get close to the car. Most, a lot of cars in it. Just unlocks. But yeah. Yeah, so. I'll go ahead. Okay, so. To bring some scripture into it, I went to Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. Okay, remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. So, remember on the former things of old. It's pretty good, but I got another verse. Philippians 3, 13 and 14. Okay. Brothers, I do, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straightening forward to what lies ahead. I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Jesus Christ or in Christ Jesus. <clears throat> because both of those verses are kind of talking about don't worry about what's in the past strive for what's in the future strive towards the goal of yeah. the future <clears throat> or strive towards um, the prize and the prize is Christ Jesus Right? Is that what you're yeah, yeah. thinking? Yep. If you're yeah. thinking about the past all the time, like thinking about um, what could I have done better, or thinking about, man, those were the good old days, never going to be like that again, and just that's just getting you down and depressed because things like now... I'm constantly watching the news and I'm seeing how bad things have gotten and I'm thinking, man, sometimes I actually think, man, if I could only, if I could, I mean, I don't really, I don't really, I think I could just time machine and go back. Yeah. And I could have won states. Yeah. You know, you, did you can't did. change things, and you yeah. say accept it. But then, you uh, you read these verses, and it kind of. I read these verses, and there's many other verses I was going to talk about. Um, not don't you know? Don't look to the past. The first time I read this years ago, I said, don't look to the past. Wait a minute. What does it mean, don't look to the past? Does it mean don't don't, don't look to the past? Because the past is the Bible. I mean, basically, most of the Old Testament is the past, right? So why, why does it say don't look to the past? Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I didn't go... Back then, you know, he had the laws. I um, mean, that verse in Isaiah, the chapter in Isaiah, saying don't look to the past. Um, you know, God was going to destroy Israel 
for their sins. And that, that's the same thing. So I was, I was going to read it to Jeremiah, but you already read that. So, so Jeremiah was prophet too. I read Jeremiah? No, I did. No, I was going to, but you read Isaiah. So I, it's, I got Jeremiah 29. Yeah. Well, what see, got? Jeremiah, he... Most of Jeremiah in Lamentations uh, is... He's like... He's te- he, he has to, he's a prophet and he has to tell Israel that God's going to destroy them for their sins. But he loves Israel. And he loves the people. Like, he loves it like, like we love... Like, when I read through Jeremiah two years ago, mm-hmm. it was when all that stuff was happening with the, uh, the George Floyd stuff and then the corona stuff was happening and all that stuff. And it just, it just felt... You know, remember, it just felt like America was being destroyed... Yeah, and it was weird because I was really uh, feeling. I felt like I was feeling like what Jeremiah was feeling. Like the country was going to be destroyed. The country that he loves and the country he grew up, the country that he looked back on his youth and said those were the good old days. You know, kind of like we do with America. Yeah. But then now it's being destroyed because they turned against God, and I feel like that's the same situation America's in right now um but I also what you read in there in Isaiah he's saying but look ahead because I'm going to change things he's saying you know he's going to change the not going to have the old covenant in the past anymore it's the new covenant with Jesus now Mm -hmm. you know not the old laws you don't have to obey those anymore now it's just believe on his son that he died for your sins um so that's what I think he means with don't 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 dwell on the past and and also I wrote down I was gonna talk about if if we had time but Paul and Silas in Ag when Paul and Silas were in uh Oh god they they were preaching and they got thrown thrown in jail. Yeah. And uh where is it? In Acts. Okay. But they got thrown in jail and in prison. And uh, it's the story where they were singing. And they were in prison, but they were singing and rejoicing in there. And then, like, an earthquake came and broke their shackles and stuff. But it's pretty awesome that they were in thrown in prison for preaching. But that didn't, like, get their spirits down because they, they didn't look... At that, they were looking forward, like you were saying. They were looking on the new things and what God said. Because your joy, a lot of your joy comes from your past. Like looking, like if you look at the bad, it just makes the good even better, right? Like, like if there's no bad and there's no good, but there is bad, and we were caught up in bad, but now we've been wash clean from the bad right and that's real good so Mm -hmm. and i think that's a problem we have in america too is we just we're 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 saying transgender and all this stuff is gay marriage and all this stuff whatever we're not saying there's anything wrong with it anymore and, and it's like diminishing the good right but i feel like we need to get back to taking a hard stance saying it's bad that we, that means when somebody realizes it's bad and and they can get saved from that, then it's really good. Mm-hmm. And uh, but anyway, but I I, I kind of was saying same sort of uh, feeling that you were having with what you brought was it made me think of Jeremiah's time, the whole prophet time when when Israel was being taken away, but they had a promise though to look forward to. To, to, to give them joy and hope, just like we do. Yeah. Um, so speaking of Jeremiah, Jeremiah 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil. To give for a future and a hope. I don't know why I wrote that down. Seven years. 
Yeah. I know why. Because it goes exactly with what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I no, write this. Over. No, I yeah. write this stuff down. I wrote it down earlier today, and then I forget. Well, that's good. It what was going on in my brain? Yeah. No, I'm but, glad I didn't um, write it down, but I'm glad because that that covers what I just said. One one reason I'm talking about the bad stuff, the bad, the bad and the good, is because there's a transgender where I work. Oh uh, yeah. One of the contractors, and I have to work around him a lot, like twice, well, you twice work per at week. The college. Yeah. And he he's a he, you know, born a he, but he wants to be called she. But I don't call him Do she, I just call him by his name. Push you to do that? Uh, no, they haven't come down and said anything like that, but um, they could, I guess. But because we have to take this Title IX, I actually have to take one every year class or whatever, and that's like all up in that. But, but anyway, I accidentally called him him twice this week. <laughs> And it may uh, at first I was like, you. yeah, no. At first I was like, oh no. And it's like, well, that's okay. He is a him, you know. Yeah. And I think that's what made me start thinking like about because you had already said something about the good old days. I, I that's the one thing, the good old days when we didn't have to worry about that kind of thing. Yeah. And when 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 the good old days when you knew what was good, everybody knew what was right. And what was bad. Now it's all getting like... And the Bible even says that. You know, in the end days, good will be bad and bad will be good. And We yeah. already see that happening. It's already being blurred. And yeah, it's, and it's... it's uh, you know, when I went to... When I was... It was in ni 1998. Or it might have been 99. No, it was 1998. I went... On a tour, a, a med tour, on on the boat with the Navy, and we went to a bunch of different countries. Went to Romania, and Romania is uh, Romania is actually part of Europe and Asia. So it kind of, if I'm, I mean, I'm could be wrong, but I think it. There's a strait in between the country. So I was on the European side, Romania. Hope I'm not getting that wrong. But anyway, I was in Romania. And we were walking around. We were on leave in Romania. I don't really know why, because Romania is not a good place. Walking the streets in... I can't remember the name of that town. But... All I see, I mean, there was a lot, of, a lot of stuff going on. Street side vendors, and everybody was in the street. And I saw a lot of transgenders. Hmm. And back then, that's crazy. Yeah, and that was '98. <clears throat> and I, I had never, you know, I was like 20 years old. I didn't know what a transgender was. I didn't. I saw this dude. That was dressed like a girl. It was like definitely a dude with lady clothes on, <laughs> and you know had beard and yeah. you could tell <clears throat> it was a dude, but dressed like a girl, like a uh, trying to uh, I don't know prostitute himself or something. Hit on guys, you know, which was you know, it was a bunch of them. Man, <laughs> probably didn't go too well with the Marines. No, <laughs> they didn't like there. that. They didn't like that. So that was my first experience with that, and so that's been going on over in Europe, on over in Europe for a long time, and um, now, I mean, that's been twenty plus years. That's not that long. It's made its way over to the United States, which it's actually been yeah. going on yeah. in the United it's States been... for a long time. But now you're hearing about it in the United States. And the United States is like the last, in my opinion, the last uh, 
totally free nation are supposed to be. So I mean, if it's all if it's going on everywhere now, yeah. I thought I mean it was going on back then when Paul was preaching to the Romans. Yeah. You know, and even before in in uh, what it Sodom and Gomorrah, I guess. So it's been going on forever, but back then they just people killed them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they took care of, they got rid of that problem by, which I'm not saying I need to go. I just what I'm saying. I'm just saying. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah. Yeah, I mean I don't now it's just um, rampant. Let me read Hebrews eight, twelve. For I will be merciful toward their iniquities, and I will remember their sins no more. When the Bible says, forget, forget the former things, it doesn't mean don't study the past. No, yeah, there's a lot of good agree? stuff. In, no, there's and Old Testament. This here saying, um, I don't know if I'm going to get this right, it's, I will remember their sins no more. It's talking about um, forgiveness of sins, and uh, basically, if if you ask the Lord to forgive your sins, and you find Christ, and um, become a Christian, yeah, <clears throat> He's going to forgive you your sins, and forgive forgiveness of sins remain means that the Lord forgets, totally forgets your sin. Yeah. Right? Yeah, like, like the one that says sin, uh, for remission of sins. You know, like the yeah. remission of cancer. Like it's gone. Like your sins are gone. Like you don't... <clears throat> it's... We can't do that. I mean, I think we 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 should have the power to. We can't forget, right? Like if somebody does something against you, oh, yeah. you can forgive them. Yeah. But you can't. Yeah, you can't forget. Forget. But the but as as I read it. Hard to. As I read it, I the Lord stuff, forgets. Man. Yeah, I mean that's why it seems like yeah. There's no remembrance of it. Like it's been washed away. So it's all about the forgiveness of sins. If you repent and find Jesus, and um, become saved, then you. He will remember your sin no more. Yep. Yep. Then you'll have a, was, a new good old day to look forward to. Yeah. <clears throat> the uh, Old Testament is awesome to read. Like, if you ever, like, if you want to know the, if anybody ever wants to know the, like, the character of God, or the, like, the patience, or long-suffering, or the, the grace of God, and also the the, the justness um, of God. Then read the Old Testament <clears throat> in his dealings with Israel. Really learned a lot. That's where I mean it, when I read through there. It, that's what the most I got out of that was was that just just learning who. Who who God was basically, <clears throat> or or a lot more about his character. So, oh, another good thing, the Old Testament is uh, the pro. Just even the prophets, like it all proves the coming of Jesus and the existence. You know when he came. Oh yeah. You know it all was prophesized and it was all written down. Thousands of years before, you know, yeah, hundreds of years, and uh, just the whole New Testament leads up 
to Jesus, even, you know, back to Moses, the Old Testament Thomas leads up to Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, the Old Testament. Yeah, so it all it all it all reads together. So Yep. I oh, know that's awesome. why I don't understand why uh the Jews I don't understand some of the why they don't uh believe <laughs> in Jesus. But um yeah, so yeah, talking about the Old Testament, we're we're in um, Proverbs right now. We're about to finish Proverbs. Probably tomorrow we'll finish Proverbs. Me and Andrew on our daily study, and then we're gonna go to Revelation. And oh, okay. we got some good stuff. For already, I've been reading. Yeah, a little ahead of Andrew. Revelation, it's pretty cool. But I can't wait to get to the part that talks about helicopters. No way. I like the part where it talks about nuclear bombs. Yeah. Or maybe that's it's what, not that's what I read. When I read it, that's what I... That's fine. It might not be helicopters. Maybe it's airplanes, jet planes. Yeah. And aliens. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I mean, the aliens, Lizard yeah. people. Well, the aliens are already calm, so... You know, it talks yeah. about aliens. And... Um, yep. I've got a good idea for a podcast, too, about reading through Luke. And uh, par- one of the parables Jesus told was pretty good. And it kind of goes along with this about um, looking to your future, but not only looking for your future, but um, with, with in heaven, but uh, preparing for it, I guess, basically. But... But anyway, if you want to, I'll talk to you about it. Okay. So <clears throat> next is Billy's podcast. And, uh, yeah. Should be pretty good. <laughs>